Okay, we want to find f of x. We start with the second derivative. We start with a coordinate of the first derivative, and we start with the coordinate of the original function. So in order to work from here to the first derivative, we have to integrate. So we're just going to basically integrate the square root of x, um, and it's dx. So we're going to integrate this. When you integrate that, what you first have to realize is that is the integral of x to the 1 half. And when you integrate that, it looks like we're going to have, we're going to add 1 to that. So it looks like what we're going to get is x to the 1 half plus 1 is 3 over 2. And that becomes 2 thirds plus c. That is my equation. The derivative of x is equal to that. That is the value. That is the derivative equation. But it has a plus c. We don't have a particular. This is a general. But do we have information to make this to find c? Yes. In order to find c and find the particular solution, we know x is 1, we know y is 4, or the output's 4. So what we now have is we now have 4 equals 2, 1 to the 3 over 2, over 3 plus c. Nice thing is 1's pretty nice and easy. This becomes 2 thirds. We minus the 2 thirds over. solve it, we're going to minus the two-thirds over, and you get c equals three and one-third, correct? Which is ten-thirds. So, f of prime x, or f prime x, is equal to two-thirds x to the three over two plus ten-thirds. Okay, is that what we're asking for? No, we're asking to go one step back. We now want to go one more back, and we want to go to f of x. So to get that, we're going to integrate. So we're now going to integrate this. So in order to integrate that, integrate this piece, we add one to this, we now have the two-thirds, but it's going to be x to the 5 over 2. And then don't you divide by that, which ends up being multiplying by two-fifths, plus, don't you just add an x to that, <coughs> plus c? That's f of x. But are we asking for a general? No, we're asking specifically, here's my information. So technically, 0 is my output, equals this, which is 4 fifteenths. And what's x? x is 1 to the f um, 5 over 2 plus 10 over 3. And x, again, is 1 plus c. Again, here my output is 0, my input is 1. My input's 1, my output's 0. If I solve this for C, it looks like I'll have 0 equals 4 fifteenths plus 10 thirds plus C. That's nice and ugly. Not that bad, though. Which, um, when you get C, C is going to be, if the minus is both over, negative 4 fifteenths minus, multiply that by 5, 50 fifteenths, and so it looks like c equals negative 54 fifteenths. So, all of that said, woo, f of x looks like it's going to be this equation, which was 4 fifteenths x to the 5 over 2 plus. 10 over 3x minus 
54 over 15. That is my original function.